Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here on my YouTube talking all about relationships and shallow work and emotional regulation and so, so much more. And for this video, I want to talk about insecurities because as somebody that has dealt with them for as long as I can remember, probably my whole life, especially like low self-esteem, this is something I'm still working through even today at 30 years old. Like, I think it's actually a pretty common societal thing especially for women as well so like insecurities are just a massive massive issue for so many people and I've really started to understand them for myself so that I can shift them and transform them and stop believing those things about myself and the main thing that I've actually come to understand is that our insecurities are literally like a road sign or warning sign just like our emotions our insecurities are showing us what we need and what we want with life and with our connections and relationships but most importantly one thing I've come to understand for myself is that it's actually showing us our need to be authentic and you can't unneed this need you know like we all need to be able to be authentic and to be loved and have connection and close relationships and belonging through us being authentic and a lot of times with insecurities we don't allow ourselves to be authentic and so we get in relationships that also don't allow us to be authentic or that are um like that we've created through us not being authentic if that makes sense like when you're masking and you're pretending to be someone you're not and then you attract relationships through that like a lot of these toxic situations can come out of that because you're not allowing yourself to actually be who you are because you feel insecure about it so i've come to understand that like us having insecurities is actually an incredible opportunity and a way for us to realize that what we actually need is to be able to be who we are and these insecurities are coming up because maybe somebody else has something that you want or like you're judging yourself in a way you know like you're judging what you have and what you don't have and your body and your looks and your image and your money and your success and all of these things like we start to judge ourselves it's really a self-judgment belief system that we have and this is something that I struggle with so much and I'm still trying to work through because I don't know I just feel like culture kind of judges us in a way you know even social media definitely judges everyone so it's very easy to kind of start doing that to yourself and at the end of the day like underneath all of those judgments is our desire and our need and our want to be who we are and we keep telling ourselves that we're not good enough and that who we actually are cannot happen and it cannot be because we don't think it's good enough and ultimately like you can't get rid of that need to be authentic you can't actually remove it it's a natural human need to just want to be who you are it's what you even came here to be essentially when you really think about it so you can't get rid of it and I feel like so many of us spend our lives fighting that like we have who we are and then we have who we think we're supposed to be and we just continuously go through a battle between the two and fight ourselves basically in our minds you know and then that ultimately affects our behavior and how we carry ourselves and the choices that we make in our lives and end up in lots of toxic situations and situations that don't benefit us and things that we don't actually want because we're not allowing ourselves to be who we are so at the end of the day our insecurities although they can be a negative thing and they can stifle you and stuff at the same time if you're willing to kind of step into observer perspective outside of the chatter in your mind and realize that these insecurities are like your road signs they're telling you like what you're doing right now is not working like we actually need to change this like if you feel insecure about your body okay this is telling me like either I'm not being healthy and that needs to change or I'm being so judgmental to myself and comparing myself to all of these other people instead of embracing my natural body do you know what I mean it's like authenticity of what your body actually is and who you actually are and what your personality is and all of these things it's like those things are there as you to be you and you keep judging it and telling yourself that you can't be it but you can't be anything but who you are anyway so like this judgment is not actually serving you anymore and 
the judgment is actually showing you that it needs to change you know like this voice needs to change the belief system needs to change and then you can actually embrace who you are and be who you are and be more authentic and then you can choose relationships that actually allow you to be authentic and align with who you truly are and let me tell you when you do that it is a true game changer because as somebody that was so insecure that all of my relationships kind of reflected that and stuff and would trigger those wounds to shit. <laughs> when you actually start to work through it and I'm by no means fully confident in myself yet but like when you start even just baby steps starting to work through these insecurities in those triggered moments the types of relationships that you will attract from that space of like self-awareness and really doing the shadow work is just so so different I used to have relationships that would trigger me all the time and make me feel insecure or even abusive relationship that I've been in where he would literally tell me that I wasn't anything you know like you're not good enough and all of that kind of thing so like the difference in the relationships that I now have, not just romantic, but like everything, the way that my family relationship dynamics have shifted as well, is just so different and so much better the more that you step into your truth and that you carry yourself and like own who you are and stuff, the more that you do that, the more that people are receptive to who you are and of course you're going to get haters and you're going to get people that don't resonate because we're not going to resonate with everyone and being able to accept that fact as well and just allow yourself to actually attract your own tribe and the people that do resonate with you and focus on those people it's just so so different and so liberating like it takes a weight off and sure there's still going to be insecure moments because we live in a freaking fickle society that's very superficial and stuff so yeah we're bound to get triggered at certain points and that's fine but like just being able to come back to your authenticity, being able to come back to your power and to self-love really. I feel like it ultimately comes back to loving yourself enough to be able to allow yourself to be authentic. So like coming back to that um, mental state and emotional state is so empowering and liberating and the insecurities don't get to have so much control over you from that standpoint, you know? even though they still do come up. So as always, everything comes back to self-love and shadow work and evaluating your thoughts and all of this kind of stuff. But it's actually a game changer when you start doing it and you really notice the difference and you notice how your beliefs have shifted, you notice how you're no longer triggered by certain things. So yeah, for me, shadow work is just essential in this world with all of this chaos and external noise. So I really hope this video helps you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Definitely comment down below if you have any video suggestions and don't forget to check out the description box for all links to everything about me including our group chat on telegram my phone number because you can whatsapp me all links to my music my crystal jewelry social media and everything else about me and i will see you in the next video i hope you have the best week bye